Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive ALB and as a part of that, we are covering the hotspot functionality. We created the hotspot for sales document number. We have written the logic and yes, we studied two to three important things. How we can use SAP memory how we can set the parameter ID. Yes, whenever you are going for this syntax, it means you are going for SAP memory. But there's no need to go into detail as of now. How you can pass the value to this parameter ID field and you can pass the value. And we are after that, we are calling the transaction. Now we will see in the debugging mode. And yes, technical information will help you to check the parameter ID. Widely used process. I will go to debugging mode and I will execute. Now I will go for this input. Now I am firstly clicking on to suppose 77. Now, I clicked on to sales document number 77. What is the value of psi u comp? This means this if condition true. What is the value? We are getting 77. So, we set this value into this parameter id a u n. And have you seen this parameter id is here? Is binded to this particular field. So we are fine setting this para, we are setting the value to this parameter ID. Now we are calling that transaction. Have you seen 77 passed? I'll go to back button. Suppose I will go to execute. Suppose I'm going for second record. Now R underscore U com, this if condition true, what is the sales document number now? 78. Now we are setting the value 78 to this parameter ID. And we are calling the transaction. And have you seen? Now 78 is there. Now we will go for again important observation. See, now I navigated to VA03. When I clicked on to back button, have you seen when I click on to the back button, I'm on my original output itself. Now, so many people ask this query rather than call transaction, transaction code. Can I go for leave to transaction, transaction code also? See, in module pool, anyways, you will learn to leave, tra leave to transaction in very much detail. Now, many people will ask this query to me. Rather than call transaction, can I go for this syntax? I will show you how it will behave. Ultimately, it depends upon the requirement. It depends upon the requirement. I have written now leave to transaction VA03. Firstly, I will explain how call transaction and leave transaction works. Suppose just think. I am running this program. I am giving the input. So currently you are in ALV output. Suppose this is our SC38. This is our SC38. Now from this, you are calling VA03 by which syntax call transaction VA03. So this SC38 in which we have the ALV output is as it is. On top of that, we have what? VA0. So if you want to come back, yes, you can come to SC38 because it is as it is, as it is. You are calling VA03 by which syntax? Call transaction, transaction code. Now what people are doing? They are calling VA03 from SC38 by using which syntax? 
leave to transaction. What is the transaction code? VA03. In this case, what will happen? This SC38 will be overridden by VA03. So we have only VA03. Now, whenever you will come back, how you can come back to SC38? Because SC38 is overridden by VA03. This is the important difference. Anyways, in future video, up, upcoming playlist, you will get more detail on this. But at this point of time, you can, you, if you want, it depends upon the functionality, what customer want. Suppose, I am going for call transaction VA03, SC38, then VA03. If you want to come back, you can come back. Now, if you are going for leave to transaction, SC38 is completely, completely overridden by VA03. So, if you want to come back, how you can come back? Because there is no ALV output. It is overridden by VA03. Now, I will show you. You can understand. Suppose, I am running. This is our SC38. We have written leave to transaction VA03. This is our VA03. Now, if we will go back, it will not take us to ALV program. It is taking us to SAP initial screen itself. Yes, anyways, it's customer requirement. If customer is saying, no, I want to go back to initial screen of SAP, then you can this, but that's not a logical requirement at all. So in this current requirement, please, please use call transaction, transaction code. So I will simply write now call transaction, transaction code. I will comment this. I will activate and I will run. Now, if I will show you the output, this is our SC38 clicking VA03, but SC38 is still active. Done. Click. Done. Click. So this is how we can. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, in this video, if I will say from learning perspective, you saw the behavior of call transaction and lead to transaction. Important difference, which is maximum asked in the interview. You studied how to use SAP memory. You can tell at least, yes, SAP memory, we can use through the syntax set parameter id and if someone asks you where you check the parameter id it is in the f1 technical information i rather than the best word i will say the parameter id is in the data element itself in data element whenever you are going for further characteristics we are able to see this particular parameter id if someone asks you how you can pass the value to the parameter id using field and you can pass the value and we saw in that debugging mode that we are getting the expected output almost everything is real project requirement itself but real project ask about all these things so that's it in this particular video thank you